My name is Brian Josephs and this is my wife, Kristen, and we've been coming to Hoboken Grace. Uh, started in 2011 and then we lived in the city for a couple years and then moved back to Hoboken in 2018 and been coming regularly ever since. We made a home commitment because this church is really the first church that's really old, always felt like home to us. Uh, we specifically moved back to Hoboken when our son was born to raise him in a church community and we knew that the community here was one we wanted him raised in. Um, coincidentally, it was during the time of FPU and I think that really began to change the way we looked at our finances. And you know, we were faithful in giving, but not to the amount that we really should have been. And um, with the home initiative, we decided that we really were gonna go for it. We both independently were praying about it and came up with the same number, which we felt good about. And then on Commitment Sunday, God had put on our hearts to give more. We knew that Hoboken and, and Hoboken Grace is where God wanted us to be. So uh, what we really wanted to do in, in making commitment to the home initiative is is invest and be intentional about creating that same feeling that we had of, of being welcomed and and having a place for your children especially to be as well. Uh, and in doing that and being able to have that be offered to other people is something we we really, really wanted to be a part of. It's, it's very easy when you're you know, in the midst of COVID and stresses at work and uncertainty around career and what the future could hold. And uh, what God consistently provided, you know, to me especially throughout that was more of just a simple message of just follow me. Uh, it was very easy to worry and get caught up in worldly concerns or issues. And uh, that simple message of just follow me, trust me, don't worry about the noise uh, was something that uh, I found really helpful and, and comforting throughout the process, and that was something that you know was really needed, frankly. And God stepped in and and provided it over the course of the last year that we've been uh, going through the home initiative. What it, what excites me about the future of Hoboken Grace is really continuing to watch our family grow in the community here. Um, this has been a wonderful community for. Brian and I as we started our marriage and uh, as we've been growing our family and the way that our son has been interacting with God and prayer and the Word is uh, really amazing and I can't wait to watch that with our now three and a half month old as she gets older and uh, I also can't wait to continue to grow our friend family here. They really have become our extended family, people in our dinner groups, uh, watching and going through life with them, the hard stuff, the good stuff. Um, and then one day having a place where we all can come together that's really a community-oriented building, it's gonna, it's gonna be great to see. It's been incredible to see how the church has grown uh, in terms of the way it is really loving, engaging, and serving the community here while maintaining the singing, simple, you know, mission of helping people find their way back to God. So if we look back 10 years and, and think about what that experience was like and compare it to today, if you project that out 10 more years, it's absolutely incredible to think about what could what could happen. And, and that's probably what is most exciting uh, to think about the possibilities and the way in which God can work through this community.